Okay, hi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, I hope that um, everyone semua sehat. Harap dah makan, dah dinner. Okay. So, I hope that all of you are fine and will be able to be with us in our like uh, house show tonight. Okay. So, as you can see, on the screen okay that's the topic all right who am i your path to self-knowledge okay i'm madam alice from sgu i'm uh, one of the training counselor in sgu okay so let i start my sharing tonight okay all right so um Actually, this um, sharing, okay, um, what I'm sharing tonight is from the writings by um, Nathan Dennis, okay, I took it from IdeaPod, okay, all right, go to the next slide, okay, self-discovery, okay, who am I, who am I? How many times have you asked yourself these questions? How many times have you questioned why you are supposed to be on this earth? How many times have you questioned your very existence? Okay. Um, have you ever your, yourself, okay, who am I really? Am I a father? I'm a mother, a husband, um, a friend, an engineer? a passenger or a patient, okay? The truth is that uh, you are a father because you have a son, okay? You are a husband because you have a wife, okay? A passenger because you are on a train or on a bus, all right? So all your identities, everything you believe yourself to be are all dependent on something else, okay? So that, who are you? A father? A husband or a passenger? Uh, okay. okay, so again, to the question, who am I? Most of us are naturally answer with our name. Okay, but does your name define who you are? No, of course not. All right? Otherwise, everyone with the same name would be the same. How boring and sad would that be at the same time? Okay, okay? so what defines you is your personality. All right? Okay. Uh, the next one is, okay, this is what I mean, is who am I? What is my identity, all right? So, um, okay. hi, assalamualaikum. Okay, and then, um, let me, oh, sorry. Okay, okay. so what define you is your personality. Okay, it's your um, uh, it's your values, your ideas, uh, the desires, goals, and also your attitude to life. Okay, that makes answering the question a bit more difficult, kan? Okay, but don't worry, I'll show you how to find out uh, who you really are. Okay, uh, I'm sharing this. Uh, it's actually an important self knowledge in life, lah. Next one. Uh, what is my identity? Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so who am I really? Okay, this is the core question in the self-discovery process. Okay, to answer it, however, you must be willing to critically question yourself. And that can be uncomfortable at times. Okay, you may confront your beliefs, patterns and must in order to find out for yourself what is actually important to you in life. What is your heart beating for? Which values do you really live by and which ones do you absolutely want to bring into your life? Okay, because every strength, every weakness, every success and every mistake you have made, they have all shaped you and made you the person you are today. 
If you don't face them fully, you may learn a part of yourself and can never found out who you really are deep inside. Okay. Right. So, who am I? What is my identity? The answer to who am I is our identity. All right? Our identity. Okay. Identity, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Identity is a critical component of understanding who we are. Okay. So, our identity is our all-encompassing um, system of uh, memories, experience, feelings, uh, thoughts, relationships, and values that define who each of us is. Okay? It's the stuff that make, uh, makes up a self. All right? So, um, what does uh, it mean? Uh, like, uh, apple, as shown as uh, on the slide okay identity is a critical component of understanding who you are who we are okay why why because we can break up identity into uh, into components okay the values experience relationships okay so these components we can identify and understand understand okay then once we have understood the components okay of that uh, of our identity okay that three values are uh, values experience and relationships okay so we can get a big picture um look at who we are okay it's uh, actually um like in a nutshell okay we are uh, we are a lot more than one thing okay we are a whole system of ideas and experience all right so we go to the next slide Our need for identity, okay, this is, uh, I take this from um, Shahram Hashmat, okay, I, I, I think, um, jangan I salah pronounce uh, his name sudah, eh? okay, so uh, what does uh, he say? Identity relates to our basic values that dictate the choices we make. Okay, for instance, relationships, career. Okay, these choices reflects who we are and what we value. Right? So, uh, who am I? Okay, gets at the heart of one of most basic needs. Okay, that's the needs of uh, our needs for identity. Lah, all right? So, we as living beings okay search for and find comfort in a solid sense of identity okay it grounds us okay it gives us um confidence and um our sense of identity affects every single thing in our lives okay from the choices we make um from the choices we make to the values we live by okay uh, so like um as the quotes, okay, the quotes yang saya baca tadi, okay, Yani. Alright, so, uh, our identities are actually almost avatars for the values lah, okay, the tenets uh, that we hold, okay, uh, our identity is also a left, uh, reflection of what we believe, what we do, and what we uh, uh, value, okay, this is a uh, powerful stuff lah, okay, yet, um, so our identity can be compromised by uh, outside factors. Okay, how is that possible? Okay, look at the next. Uh, look at the next. Next, next. Sorry, eh, next slide. Okay. Few people choose their identities. Instead, they simply internalize the values of their parents or uh, the dominant cultures. Okay, for instance, a uh, pursuit of materialism, power, and appearance. Sadly, these values may not be aligned with one's authentic self and create unfulfilling life. Okay. So, this is what can cause problems, okay? Okay, here's the painful truth. Much of our identity uh, was forced upon us. 
this inorganic identity causes us to experience a tremendous uh, amount of stress. Why? Okay, because we know that identity is false. Okay? It's something demanded of us. The problem is we don't know what our organic identity is. Okay, so, and that's why we ask, who am I? All right? Okay. Uh, okay. How to figure out who am I? Who I am? All right, so uh, this is what uh, we see as um, the need to reclaim um, our power. Okay, one of the biggest things uh, holding us back from finding out who we are is that so many of us have no real uh, personal power. Okay, it can leave us feeling frustrated, disconnected, and unfulfilled. Okay, so. What can you do is uh, to find out who you are and what you are doing here. Okay, uh, let's begin with yourself. All right, stop, um, stop searching for people to tell you how to think or what you should do. Okay, the more you look uh, for external uh, fixes to sort of uh, your, your life, okay, the further you be venture from learning how to live uh, your life aligned with a deeper sense of inner purpose. All right. Okay, so... Uh, okay, how to... Figure. All right, let... let um, okay, so... Look at the rules, uh, the rules we play. Okay, to make things harder on ourselves, we we um, each uh, each of us okay have multiple identities. Okay, uh, let's say sons, daughters, um, parents, friends, um, mothers. Okay, like me lah. Okay, so we split and compartmentalize our identities into roles. Okay, and we perform these roles in different um secure uh, secure tenses. Okay, so. Uh, according to Dr. Heshmat, okay, uh, each role it's, uh, has its meaning and uh, expectations that are internalized as identity. Okay, so when we perform these roles, we internalize them as if um, they were our real identities. Okay, because we are all actors taking, taking on a dozen roles. Okay, uh, uh, me, for instance, okay, as a mother, as a student, as a uh, teacher. Okay, uh, and what else? And so on. Lah. Okay, so except the problem is we are tricked ourselves into believing these roles are real. Okay, so this is what we call conflict. Okay, coupled with the need to find um, our authentic self. Okay, is the cause uh, of much of um, our unhappiness. Okay, so this conflict is called identity struggle. Okay. Why struggling to figure out? Okay, why 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 we call it as uh, the identity struggle? Okay, struggling to figure out who we are can have grave uh, side effects. Okay, that's why it is important to discover uh, to the question. Okay, who am I? Because the alternative is depression and meaninglessness. Okay, on the upside, uh, people who have successfully successfully found their authentic self are shown to be um, far happier and more content, okay? Uh, this is because uh, they are able to live a life, okay, uh, through the, uh, true to their values and um, pursue meaningful goals, okay? So, but um, how can you uh, figure out who you are, okay? How can you separate uh, your true identity from the one given to you by your family, okay, by the end, uh, as a father, okay, by your family, because you have a son, okay, and what was shaped by the society, okay. So, look at here, how to figure out who am I, or who am I, okay, five ways to help answer uh, the question, okay, who am I, okay, there are five, okay, reflect, Decide who you want to be, okay? Make better choices, explore your patience, develop your social circle, okay? 
Okay, let me go to the first one. Okay, uh, it's the reflect. Um, okay, sorry, which I'm hanging up. Okay, so uh, it's actually uh, critical to discover uh, who am I, who you are. Okay, so when you are firm in your identity, your life is more meaningful, joyful, and purposeful. Right. So um, this key, uh, these five key steps, okay, uh, that uh, you can take to help answers, okay, uh, that I took from uh, from the writings, okay, and actually these uh, steps are backed by experts, lah. Okay, so. I trying to help you form up your identity so that yeah, you can live a, a life full of um, purpose. Okay, the first one is reflect. Okay, um, you need to reflect upon yourself. Okay, whenever you are engaging in um, self discovery. Okay, what does it mean? Uh, this means that uh, you have to examine uh, yourself. Okay. For all your strengths, flaws, impression you give others, okay, the whole lot, okay, you have to um to uh, critically engage with the reflections you present, okay, and um it's like you have to be um your inspector, you have to look at your whole self as the house, okay, and get down deep to that condition, okay. Ask yourself, who are you right now? Who are you? What are your strengths, your flaws? Okay. Do you like who you see in the mirror? Do you think that um, who you are doesn't match who you see? Okay. You think of tell me. Okay. Think of who you are. Is it match? Okay. So how does that um, make you feel? Okay, identify which areas of your life you are unhappy about. Uh, look at um, what you think uh, could be better, okay? Mentally, emotionally, and physically, all right? So, uh, don't go rush and slap. Um, then it's all over the issues, okay? Uh, these steps isn't uh, about quick fixes okay it's not even about changing anything instead it's about um sitting with yourself up and down and understanding where you are once you have a good grasp uh, on yourself then you can move on the step two okay what is the step two decide who you want to be okay you can never be a person uh, you you can never be a perfect person Okay, there's no such thing um, as a perfect person. Okay, you are not perfect. All right. So you have to embrace uh, the fact that you will never be perfect. Okay, I don't want to talk about the perfection is a person, but uh, on the path of self discovery, like, you should embrace uh, that uh, there are things you want to improve. Can okay, it's because among the fact that. We will never be perfect, all right. But an improvement too is uh, possible, lah. Okay. So in this in this uh, step two, okay, decide who you want to be, all right. Um, what you need is um, what you need to do is identify who you want to become. Who you want to become? Who you want to be? Who you want to? Who you want to be, who you want to become. All right. Okay. So, and be honest with yourself. What uh, about uh, about about, about uh, what's possible? Lah. Okay. Janganlah pula macam uh, being Superman kan. And memang it's 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 not what we are after lah kan. Okay. Uh, start 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 with yourself. Okay. So take take care of yourself. Okay. Refine your personality. Maybe you can take um a personality test so you can you. You can know yourself uh, better, all right? So choose your destination and articulate your being. Okay. 
maybe you can um, find okay who is your ideal person okay is it sometime uh, someone kind uh, strong intelligent or brave okay is it a person uh, who uh, is not afraid of a challenge atau okay ataupun uh, is it a person who can um, open uh, herself up to love okay whoever lah whoever uh, the 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 uh, the dream person is okay define that okay define who you want to become Okay, this is uh, the uh, the the uh, step two lah. All right. Okay, so uh, the third one. What is the third one? Uh, make better choices. All right, make better choices. It's for yourself, not for others. All right, for yourself. Okay, the truth is. Um, most of us are uh, programmed to make choices uh, out of fear. We instinctively make an easy choice based on um, anxiety, desire to please, or because we don't want to put in the effort. Okay? These choices only do one thing. Okay? Continue this uh, status quo lah. And if you are not happy with who you are, with your current status quo, then these choices do nothing to help you. Okay, those choices, okay, then are the bad choices. Lah. Okay, but you can choose better for yourself. All right, you can make active decision. Okay, let us see the, uh, I take this quote from the Marsha Reynolds. Okay. Marsha Reynolds, what's this he, what is she, she, I think, okay, she said, um, choice uh, means you are free to do, uh, or, tak uh, nampak uh, pula, choice means you are free to do or not to do something because you decided on your own, okay. So, to activate conscious choice, you first have to do some work to determine what really matters to you. Okay, what strengths are you proud of? What tasks do you most enjoy? What dreams keep haunting you? What would you do if you had no obligations or people to please? Take time to sort through your desire. Okay, this is, uh, she's the clinical uh, psychologist, all right? So, once you know what you want, okay, and once you know who you want to be, you can take the time to make active, okay? Conscious choices that help you be better, okay? What are these choices like? Okay, well, um... Let's see that uh, your dream version of yourself is a marathon. Okay, that active choice means choosing to get off the couch, okay, lace up those shoes and hit the baby. Okay, or maybe you want to go back to school and graduate college. Okay, sapa sapa dah kerja lah kan? Okay, so that means choosing to complete applications, um, choosing to ask for recommendation letters and choosing to study. Okay, so once you make uh, the decisions, okay, that are that are in line with your values and what you want, okay, you will start uh, feeling empowered to find out your true identity. All right. So the next one, uh, apa tadi? Kejap. Number four, explore your patients. All right. So explore your patients. Um, so this is uh, one of the best parts uh, about uh, discovering the answer to who am I, okay? is figuring our parts of uh, yourself you never knew about. Okay, ni apa yang saya baca lah, saya share je dengan you all, okay? So, um, sure, uh, you have figured out, okay, 
tadi kan dah who number three is uh, who you want to be and uh, you have done a great job looking in the mirror at the first one uh, at, the, at the first stage kan okay so but there's always going to be parts of you that are hidden away lah okay so and it's uh, it's your job to discover them so this is explore your patience okay one of the best way to uh, help discover yourself is to explore your patience okay so when you engage in uh, things you are passionate about okay you actually um, stimulate creative energies okay if you are passionate about uh, sewing so we sometimes in okay tapi up to you okay go out and sew okay janganlah buat benda lain pula okay so the more that you sew uh, sewing kan so uh, so you will be, begin to see yourself as a sewer Okay, mungkin uh, selain itu apa ya, um, whatever lah, okay. Uh, so, uh, this exploration will give you confidence and expertise. Okay, you keep uh, doing that, alright. So, this, this, uh, which, uh, this uh, helps uh, positively ground your sense of identity, alright. So, but what if, okay, what if, uh, if you don't know what, you are uh, passionate about okay tak tahu okay when your identity has been built by society's expectation uh, so it's natural uh, it's natural that uh, you might not know what you are passionate about okay so that's okay but if you haven't okay don't go looking for it instead develop it tak tahu okay don't go okay what okay macam pelik lah kan tapi how am I supposed to develop someone, eh, something, okay, kan? Uh, if I don't even have it, kan? Sebab ni yang cerita, but what if you don't know what you are passionate about, eh? Okay, so, uh, if you don't know what uh, what's your passion is, okay, uh, no worries, okay, don't freak out, okay? It's not like it's um, the one. And if you can't find it, okay, you will miss out. Uh, on your life, alright. Instead, try your hand at hobbies, okay, and um, projects that are available to do uh, to you uh, right now, lah. Okay, so uh, that's the backyard look uh, a little weedy. Okay, try try lah. Uh, plant some flowers, ke, okay. So maybe you realize you have a passion for gardening, gardening, ke mana lah tahu kan? Okay, so maybe you won't, tapi it's okay. Okay, it's all about exploration, okay. So you need to explore lah the possi uh, the possibilities uh, for growth. Okay. All right. So, uh, eh. so the next one. Ah, which I need to check again. Passion is not a job, a sport, or a hobby. It is the full force of your attention and energy that give you. To whatever is right in front of you, okay. And if you are so busy looking for this patient, you could miss opportunities that change your life. Okay, this is by Terry Tresby. Alamak, I takutnya kalau salah sebut nama dia. Okay, but it's okay. So this is uh, the top. Okay, from his top. Okay, stop searching for your patient. So, but they kata apa? It is not. A job, a start or a hobby. It is the full force of your attention and energy that you give to whatever is right in front of you. All right. Uh, number five. Okay, number five. Number four. What is number five again? Sorry. Okay, number five, um, develop your social circle. All right, develop your social circle. Okay, so we, um, as the humans, okay, humans are social beings by nature. Okay, so much of our identity is shaped by our friends and family. Okay, so when you work uh, to figure out who you are, you have to act uh, to um, actively create your uh, social circle. Okay.
Okay, this means um, choosing who you want to hang out with. Okay, your friends, suffer not to work, okay? So it means uh, choosing who to let in, okay, in your life, and who to cut loose, okay? Tak ada apa yang rugi pun, all right? So you, 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 you must find um, people who are aligned with your values and identity, okay? Like, uh, okay, like, we uh, go to the next one. Okay, what is it? Okay. This is uh, from Mike Bandran. Okay, he is a life coach. Okay. When you understand what's most important to you in life, okay, your life values, you can clarify who you are by choosing your social circles based on compatible values. All right? You can have great clarity in your relationships too as you see yourself reflected in the people around you. Okay? What does it mean? Okay, they always say that uh, you can judge a man by the company he keeps, right? But uh, that that is very true. Okay, you, you, may, you, you can judge yourself by the people you hang out with. Okay, if you are... If you, uh, you are hoping to develop yourself as a person, look at the friend or uh, the, the friend group you have. Okay, are they pushing you forward or holding you back? All right, so your identity is uh, actually is an uh, ongoing process. All right, your identity is an ongoing process process okay so the task of finding out who you are is not an easy one okay it's probably one of the hardest things uh, you will ever take on okay uh, it's also um, one of the worst things you can do okay during the process okay is to put pressure on yourself to figure out uh, to figure uh, figure it out okay right away okay discovering your identity is a journey not an ending when you when when we um race to the finish line we forget the value of the growth process okay because the identity is not a static term why should it be we are constantly growing, changing, evolving. Okay, we have trillions of cells in our bodies that live and die all the time. All right, so we are dynamic. Our identities must be dynamic too. All right. Okay, look at the next one. Uh, this is by Mel, the psychotropist and author. Okay. Uh, our identity should be seen as an ongoing process. Okay, rather than a static snapshot, we should embrace a flowing sense of self, whereby we are per perpetually reframing, reorganizing, rethinking, and reconsidering, reconsidering ourselves. Okay. So, how different would life be if rather than uh, asking uh, who am I, okay, we contemplated uh, how we'd like to engage life. All right. So, when you embrace that your identity is dynamic, okay, you take a lot of pressure of yourself to pin down exactly who you are. Okay. So, be relaxed. You are you. You know what uh, you value what you like and what you want to be okay so if those change that's okay start back over from the uh, step one okay so don't be afraid of growth lah. all right so the next one uh, positive disintegration okay so what is positive disintegration okay um Growth comes at a cost, okay? When you figure out who you truly are, 
Okay, you have to read yourself um, uh, of the parts of you uh, that are not honest. Okay, so how do you go through such a complicated process? When you have to uh, shade off parts of yourself to become who you are, okay, it may feel like uh, you are uh, tagging yourself into, okay, um, ripping yourself into uh, can be scary, right? Okay, so there's fear that uh, you could be throwing away a valid part of yourself, all right? So a part of yourself that uh, you have held uh, on to, uh, too far, uh, for, for far, yeah, okay, far too long, okay, but uh, you have to remember that it, it, uh, it is not you, okay, we have to embrace our ability to change, evolve, and become better, all right, so um, that's why we have to engage in this uh, positive disintegration, okay, so the goal of this type of personal development Okay, is to identify and keep the mindset and behaviors that serve us well and shed the patterns that hold us back and limit our possibilities. Okay, so um, the more we can embrace that, uh, uh, the more that we can embrace what works and aligns with uh, with our true self. Okay, and let go. Of all what uh, of all uh, of uh, that which uh, inhibits authentic expression. Okay, so the more we will experience life as we um, naturally and truly are. All right. So uh, you have to let go uh, the things that are holding your back. Okay, you have to trust that. Uh, you are doing the right thing by shedding the parts of you that uh, that uh, are not you. Okay, so you are not going to miss the false you. Instead, you will be excited to finally meet and um, accept yourself. All right. So uh, the next one. So, who are you? Okay, so this much is clear, okay? Discovering who you are is a um, um, never-ending journey, okay? Like the universe, you are never in the same state. You will always change, you will always evolve, you, you will always uh, grow, okay? So why do we uh, get so caught up with, with, with uh, our definition of identity? Okay, it's because we all crave the same things. Okay, happiness, peace, and success. All right, so uh, without finding uh, without finding out who you are, okay, you will feel, you feel like uh, you'll never come close to any of it. Okay, so if your journey is uh, if if uh, your in, in your journey of self-discovery, okay, so you have to remember to take a step back and reflect on yourself, okay? Uh, like a question, uh, am I making decisions uh, based on my values or am I uh, who I want to be, okay? So once you have reflected uh, upon yourself and discovered who you want to be, so you can um, engage um, in the process of uh, pushing yourself forward uh, through uh, active choosing, exploration, and uh, positive disintegration, okay? To finally make yourself the person who uh, you always hope you you become, okay? So, uh, you have two ways to approach this is investigation, okay? So, uh, in, one, in one method, uh, you listen to the advice and counsel of uh, others who convince you that uh, they, they've gone through this experience and know uh, the secrets and tips uh, to guide you through the same process, okay? Okay. Um, and uh, the other way is 
uh, what you find tools and inspiration for how you can uh, question your own life and find the answers to yourself. Okay, so uh, this is why, uh, okay, uh, I am sharing this. See, so love yourself first and everything else falls into place. Okay, so if you uh, leave your life to someone else, how how can you possibly uh, learn more deeply about yourself? Okay, so one puts the power of your life in the hands of someone else. Okay, the other method approach helps you to take okay uh, uh, the the reins of your own life. Okay, so in the process, you will be cut. You you will discover the answer to the question who am I? Okay, I am me. That's the answer. So maybe uh it may sound con uh seated or like uh narciss narcissistic, okay, to focus on loving yourself first. Okay, but it's actually not okay. Uh the point is uh Actually, it's not to believe you are better than others, all right, or to accept things about yourself that uh, you really do need to change. Okay, it's all uh, about developing a healthy and nurturing relationship with. Okay, it's you. It's you. Okay, so loving yourself is about uh, committing to who you are. Uh, understanding the many differences uh, to your identity and uh, showing yourself a level of care and intimacy that we usually reserve for other people. Okay. Unfortunately, we are not taught uh, how to love ourselves from an early age. Okay. And we end up caring about what others think uh, of us rather than focusing. On what, uh, on what we need uh, at a more fundamental level, All right? Uh, okay, hello. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. So, how to find your strength? Okay. Ataupun um, think about the success, okay? Boleh, boleh juga lah. You, you, you think about the success, okay? You have celebrated so far, okay? Uh, or what do uh, your, your friends praise you for, okay? Or uh, in which situations uh, do you notice yourself being better than others? Okay, carilah apa kekuatan kita. And don't forget to face your weaknesses juga lah. Okay, so uh, simply stating uh, the your, 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 what 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 is your greatest weakness? Uh, memang lah, it's a it's a difficult matter. Okay, especially from the uh, psychologist point of view, can okay. Often we see weaknesses in ourselves. Okay, that in truth do not exist. Uh, macam apa? Uh, that that our friends, our fellow human beings even see can. Okay? Uh, okay, so um, you should always focus on the positive. Okay, tapi uh, your weak your your weak points also belong to you. Okay, and only when you become aware of them, you can work on them and understand where they uh, might be holding you back. Okay, so think about the situations in which uh, you had uh, you have had to accept defeat okay what have uh, you often been criticized for okay or in which moments would you have liked to have acted differently uh, what characteristics do you dislike about yourself okay so face it and then look at uh what are your goals okay what does your dream life look uh, look like okay if you could uh 
finally answer the question, who am I? Okay, so it will be much easier for you uh, to work towards it. Okay, but what exactly uh, constitutes uh, a good life for you? What do you want to be achieved? Eh, to be achieved, like what you what do you want to achieve? Okay, how do you want to be remembered by others? Okay, or uh, what do you still want to achieve at all costs? What would you like to do if you were uh, not afraid uh, of uh, of of failure or negative consequences? Okay, so they uh, this all okay question okay uh, will help you formulate your most uh your, your your goals lah so what are your goals so ask your ask yourself all right so what are you actually interested in okay of course your goals depend largely on uh where your interests lie okay if you have problems with uh, being clear about your goals okay then starts uh starts from the from from the first point okay so what interests you what do you like to do in your free time your hobbies okay but even answering this question is not easy lah memang kadang-kadang tanya tapi diri sendiri tak tahu kan ah but that's what that's what many people think lah who are fully committed uh, to their apa uh, job and fall into bit exhausted in the evening okay so then of course you need to some soul searching uh first last but what uh free time ah uh, macam tu kan macam tak tahu ada ke free time dia kan okay so uh what did you like to do before what what uh would you like to do if you finally had a day of just for you nak buat apa okay with all doors open to you or uh, who or what inspires you and with whom you would like to swap uh, your life for a week. Okay, so find that. Okay, so saya tambah sikit. Okay, ada, saya share the, the reasons, okay, uh, to finally answer the question, who am I? All right. Uh, okay, belum. Sekejap. Mana tadi? Ha, so, who are you? Alright. Okay. Um, number one. Okay. So, uh, as the saying goes, okay, nobody knows that uh, you as well as you know yourself. Okay. Nobody knows you as well as you know yourself. Okay. But do you really know yourself? Have you ever questioned yourself and your life intensively? If not, okay, then uh, uh, you that that that's the, uh, the important to know every little detail about yourself, can? So the first one is you know your value, okay. If you want to realize your dreams and uh, become happy from the bottom of your heart, so you must first find out where you stand right now, okay? Become aware of all your skills, uh, your strengths, uh, your great qualities, okay? And uh, realize that you are uh, incredibly uh, valuable, okay? So, uh, actually, all of us talk, okay, from time to time. That's what uh, makes us human. Okay, but once you find out who you really are, okay, it will give you a good uh, dose of confidence. All right, this is what we call self confidence, lah. Okay. so self confidence, um, and nothing and no one can throw you uh, off track so quickly if you have this uh, self confidence. Okay, okay, so how? Okay, so what is the self confidence? Okay, it's it 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 uh, it's um use almost uh macam uh kita tanya diri kita kan. So how do we succeed? Okay, ah uh, so uh 
Um, it is actually the the recognition kan, of one's own personality and in connection with this. The, the abilities, the traits, the emotional state. All right. So who am I and how do I feel right now? Okay, our self-confidence, self-awareness, okay, affects our self-confidence. Okay, so um, whether we are most optimistic about the future, okay, so uh, can, uh, you, you have to know your, your values, okay? That's the, the, the good uh, dose of confidence, okay? So number two, all right, so you have to have uh, the clear goals in mind. Okay, so for sure you have a rough picture in your head, kan? Uh, where you want to go in your life. Okay, what you want to do after this. Okay, so, but uh, is that the life that would be comfortable or, uh, or, or the one you really want? Okay, do you even know what life you would like to lead deep in your heart? Okay, you want to know the truth until you find yourself. You, you, want, you won't know, you won't know. Okay, so you have to find yourself this. Okay, so when you know you, when you know who you are, okay, so you have uh, laid the foundation to finally creating the life you are fully comfortable with. All right, you'll be happy, and that you will look back. Okay, on uh, with pride, lah. Okay, so number three is you will find your happiness. All right, so. Only when you know what makes you tick, will, uh, will, will, will you able to make decisions based on your deepest desires. Okay? If you let you, uh, your true self guide you okay, on your path, you will finally find the happiness you deserve. You will not be distracted by comforts. Okay? Okay, the opinions of others or suppose uh, because you know exactly what is right for you. All right. Okay, so the self-confidence you need uh, is to be to be a happy life, lah, to live, can? All right. So this uh, the self-knowledge. Okay. So this is the process, lah, not and and go. Okay, so uh, who am I and who do I want to be? All right, yang persoalan yang saya share tadi kan? All right, so uh, for berapa? All right, we have uh, another eight minutes. Okay, it's okay. I dah nak, nak, nak tutup apa? Uh, come to the conclusion. Okay, so um. So again, okay, this is uh, the probably one of the most difficult question lah, kan? Uh, so we all face at the same point, okay? At least ideally, uh, it, it, it's not easy to answer, but uh, that's a good thing, okay? You don't gain self-knowledge overnight. It's a long, it's, it's uh, a long route because uh, you need time to listen deep inside yourself. And understand how and why you become the person you uh, you are today. Okay, so uh, if you if you don't know who are you, okay, maybe you can do uh, the personal personality test. Okay, so uh, what I want to share with you is uh, don't stop at one point okay so you are always evolving then this is uh, of course uh, also uh, uh, it's about life okay uh, so it's life remains an eternal journey can all right so who am i today who will be who will i be tomorrow uh, so ask yourself all right so, apa lagi? Okay, so I think uh, this is the end of the show.
Okay, so don't uh, forget for the students, okay, uh, don't forget to, uh, apa, you see the score run um, forms, alright, ada dekat comments kat situ, alright, so, and, and also in our WhatsApp group, okay, so please do, um, do, 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 fill up the forms, right? So, um, hope that everyone is enjoy and dapat something daripada apa yang saya share today, tonight, okay? So, uh, have a wonderful weekend, have a, a good weekend, everyone, and happy holiday, happy weekend. Bye. Assalamualaikum.